promise that I would show you how to put together the Kromsky Harp Forte Loom Stand. So with my assistant Marshmallow, who is not much of an assistant, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have laid out all of the pieces that came with the loom stand. Uh, there's four different sets of screws that have different pieces on them. There's your Allen wrench. Um, there's the two pieces that are kind of the feet, uh, the bracer bar for the feet, the uprights, and then the bracers for um, the loom itself when it's sitting on the stand. So uh, I have gone ahead and just kind of laid it all out so we can get started. And Marshmallow, you are just not being super helpful, little buddy. Go get a toy. I'll throw your toy. So anyway, it comes with um, some assembly instructions, which is how I knew about the screws and everything. So I'm going to get started here, and it looks like I need to take one of these, and I need to take one of these, and I have to pay attention to which direction my pieces go together. Let's do it so that it's like this, maybe. Yeah. And um, I'm going to take one of these assemblies, and we have to screw it tightly, but not too tightly, because we will have to adjust all of these. And Marshmallow, this is not your toy. Shoo! Okay, a little comic relief for you there. Shoo, Marshmallow, shoo! Okay, so I need to take this, oops, this and this it needs to go in here, but Marshmallow, you're not being helpful. After removing Marshmallow, because he is just a little bit of a sugar booger today, After struggling for a little bit, I finally figured out how to get the pieces in the correct holes so that I could put this upright together. I just want this sort of put together. All right, there's our first one. Shoot. All right, now the second one should go easier since I know what I'm doing more. So now I have to go ahead and take my two uprights and I have to put that bracer bar in between. So here I have my bracer bar and I'm just taking that long screw and um, going ahead and getting everything set up so that I can put it all together. And right about in here is when I notice that I have put both of my uprights in the same position. So now I have to take everything apart all over again. Okay, so screw number two. This piece
Now I have to go back in and actually tighten those uprights so that I make sure that everything is square and it's not going to wiggle when I put the side supports on. So mostly I was just making sure that it didn't wiggle back and forth. Now it's time to put on those uprights that are going to hold the front of the loom in place. So here I'm just taking the last four screw, nut, and washer combinations and I am getting ready to put the loom up on the stand. So there are four points where the loom is held on the stand and you just take that screw and washer and nut combo and put it all together so that it holds it secure. So of course I managed to drop the second washer as I am putting the screw in, but I did manage to pick it up and get both of the screws in on the top and then it's time to do the two screws that are in the front and uh, tighten those nuts down. And my loom is almost set up on the stand. And here we go, it's all put together. So my loom is on its stand.